What's up, Gotcha Gang? Kawaii50 here with another FGO video, here to talk about the beloved Seshoin Kiara, a very popular Alter Ego class servant who definitely needs a very, very long stint in Horny Jail. We are going to be discussing Kiara's stats, best craft essences, best command codes, and everything you need because, it, let's be honest, if you like this character, she is NP5, level 100, max golden foed, you're going to want to find ways to use her. And that's what I am here to provide. Be sure to like and subscribe if this vid helps you out. Kiara runs a quick arts arts buster buster deck with an AoE arts type noble phantasm. When it comes to her stats, her 14,606 HP is honestly very respectable, especially among the Alter Ego classes. Her max attack of 11,668, while high when it comes to Alter Ego resistances and, you know, damage they deal, there's going to be times where that is really, really good, and if a single Knight class shows up, really, really bad. But many would argue that the payoff is worth it, myself included. Her NP per hit can honestly be pretty solid at a 0.55% and she does have the ability to Arts Brave Chain. So with a solid Arts support, you can definitely see some potential for an NP refund. Star Absorption is generally average, pretty much comparable to a Saber class. Kiara does have four passive class skills, and two of them really deserve a mention. The first one would be Logos Eater Rank C. This gives her an extra 16% defense against humanoid enemies, which most servants are, so that can really make up for the fact that she's going to be taking neutral damage from a lot of enemies. More importantly than that, though, is Nega Saver Rank A, which allows her to deal 1.5 times damage to ruler class enemies, much like the damage Alter Egos deal to cavalry classes. Having a whole other extra class for her to deal extra damage to is a really powerful boon in Kiara's favor. Kiara has gotten a couple of skill rank ups and we're going to be talking about the ranked up versions for skills since both are out on NA right now. Starting of course with Clairvoyance Beast rank D++++. This decreases the debuff resist of a single enemy by 50 to 100% for one turn decreases their arts resistance by 20 to 30% for one turn, and also increases Kiara's NP gauge by 30 to 50%. This is easily Kiara's most important skill and should be maxed first and ranked up quickly at all costs. Not only is this her powerful NP steroid that you're probably going to be using in a bunch of quests, but on top of that, it's also her main source of damage. The fact that you can decrease an enemy's arts resistance helps her out immensely, especially when using her Noble Phantasm. Kiara's second upgraded skill is the 5 Approaches to Meditation, rank A+. This decreases all of her enemies charged by 1 and decreases their defense by 10 to 30% for 3 turns. After it is upgraded, it also removes all of the buffs off of Kiara's enemies. Very, very important. Even though she does have the potential to ignore invincibility and ignore evade, there is unfortunately a chance where maybe one of your allies is going to need attack and not Kiara. So if one of your allies needs to attack, having the opportunity to remove buffs from your enemies is going to be very, very helpful. Definitely max this skill second. I know the defense decrease doesn't really seem like much, especially since Kiara can ignore defense with her Noble Phantasm, but her regular cards don't. Kiara's final skill is Goddess Morph Rank EX. This gives her one turn of invincibility, 30 to 50% crit strength, 30 to 50% NP rate, 30 to 50% debuff resistance, and 30 to 50% HP recovery amount. This is all at the cost of her dealing 3,000 damage to herself. In all honesty, gang, to not mince words, this is Kiara's oh shit button. She basically has to use this whenever an enemy is about to absolutely decimate her, either with a chain of critical striking attacks or a noble phantasm. I get that all of those extra buffs seem like they're nice, but... More often than not, if you ended up using this for anything other than the invincibility, you more likely cost yourself the entire fight than anything else. I would recommend maxing this skill last to get it on a lower cooldown, but beyond that, you're not really going to be using this for much other than the invincibility. Just gotta reiterate that. Kiara is also getting an upgrade to her Noble Phantasm, but we likely won't see this until July of 2022. 
Amitabha Amidala, Heaven's Hole, deals 600 to 900% damage to all enemies after the rank up. This damage also ignores the enemy's defense up, and it ignores invincibility, and the ignore invincibility effect activates before damage is dealt. The overcharge effect is that it restores Kiara's HP, and after upgrade, this is going to be a hefty 5,000 to 10,000 HP that you are going to see restored for Kiara, which can be absolutely absurd. There have been instances where I've been using friends Kiaras, and honestly, gang, even at base, even without this Noble Phantasm upgrade on NA right now, that 2,000 to 6,000 can still seem pretty hefty, especially if you have a healer on your side. With the upgrade to this Noble Phantasm, Kiara's healing from Heaven's Hole almost becomes entirely self-sufficient, sort of making her a kind of weird alter ego Enkidu, but she can use the skill more often because it's her Noble Phantasm. When it comes to Kiara's allies, let's not even kid ourselves. Her Noble Phantasm is what we want to use, and we want to use it as often as possible. So that means art supporters are going to be your main draws for Kiara. You want your caster Artorias if you're on JP right now. You want your Tamamo no Mize if you're on NA right now. You want your caster Gilgamesh or Helena Blavatsky as your budget options. Well, more budget with them being four stars. But I do actually have some lower rarity characters to recommend with Kiara, as well as a couple of other art supporters that are a little more unorthodox than the standard picks I mentioned just now. Let's start of course with my man Asclepius, the god of medicine. The main reason I recommend Asclepius is because of his fantastic healing skills that can actually take advantage of the healing gain boost Kiara gets on her third skill after she pops it. So if she's really really in trouble, you can pop that skill and immediately heal her up for extra with Asclepius. On top of that, Asclepius has the ability to punch up her NP gauge and also increase her NP gain, so maybe she can get a bigger refund on Overkill after using Heaven's Hole. Hohenheim, of course, is the three-star that is every art servant's best friend. Not only does he have a party-wide arts card effect in this boost, but he also is able to give allies a massive NP gain boost of 30 to 50% after you upgrade his third skill, Philosopher's Stone. His Noble Phantasm, everything else beyond that, not a lot of that is really, really great, but that third skill alone is more than enough to justify putting Hohenheim on your team. I, of course, want to mention Prince of Lon Ling, one of my favorite servants that I still don't have. He is able to provide all of your allies with attack boosts from his first skill as well as his Noble Phantasm. He can also provide all your allies an Arse card effectiveness boost and a chance to increase crit star drop rate and critical strength which Kiara will need that critical strength if she's fighting bosses. He also has a pretty small NP steroid he can tack onto there, allowing Kiara to make up for any errors that might happen where you're maybe 10 to 20% off of using Heaven's Hole. Nemo being a cavalry class might really be worth taking along with Kiara, especially if you're fighting an enemy near water or in imaginary space, because Nemo provides extra buffs when fighting in those areas. Those buffs are to attack and arts card effectiveness, two things Kiara really wants to see. Not only that, Nemo can provide a just general arts card effectiveness boost, some critical stars so she might be able to crit, and an NP strength boost, which when you're using your Noble Phantasm all the time, that's something you definitely want to fish for. And finally, a recommendation for a servant that's coming out pretty soon after this video was published, and that is going to be Surma Yi. Surma Yi has a ton of NP steroids, honestly, one tacked onto every single one of her skills, so she really, really has the potential to pump up Kiara's Noble Phantasm gauge, especially in the event you don't have, say, like a Caster Artoria or a Waver to help that along. She also has the ability to give Kiara invincibility, meaning she won't have to use her skill that sacrifices 3,000 of her hit points unless it is really, really necessary. Surma Yi might be eating some critical stars, but when your focus is on dealing damage with your Noble Phantasm, it doesn't really end up being that big a deal. The best craft essences for Kiara are very, very straightforward. You want to prioritize Arts Card effectiveness and NP strength whenever possible. Those Arts Cards are what's going to get you your NP and deal your primary damage with Kiara's Noble Phantasm. And NP damage just adds more damage on top of the Noble Phantasm. 
So for my freebie picks, of course, gotta give the first shout out to Royal Icing, which grants Arts card effectiveness as well as a very, very increased NP strength. Compared to my other freebie option, Dive to Blue. Dive to Blue provides Arts card effectiveness and NP strength, but also grants Kiara a 30 to 50% starting NP gauge. So if you ended up maxing out one of her skills, her NP charge skill in particular, you're going to be able to have her use her Noble Phantasm immediately which is always fun. Those looking to capitalize on NP damage over everything else will want to dig out their Black Grail if they have one. It is still the most powerful NP damage CE in the entire game and is not going to be unseated from that spot anytime soon. But there is also a merit in playing around with the overcharge effect craft essences as well, mainly if you think you're going into a prolonged fight and really want to find a way to heal up Kiara on her own very, very quickly. And this is especially effective after she gets her Noble Phantasm upgrade. To start with, you can consider Devilish Bodhisattva. Makes sense that the craft essence featuring Kiara would be effective on Kiara. This grants a starting NP gauge as well as a boost to NP overcharge by two levels the first time she uses her Noble Phantasm. Also recommended is the highly underrated Duke of Flame. Duke of Flame grants that NP overcharge boost, but it trades the starting NP gauge for a 20 to 25% boost to NP strength. Again, Noble Phantasm, Kiara's primary source of damage. This is absolutely worth using if you don't want to sacrifice too much damage to get that NP overcharge bonus. Taking a look at Kiara's command codes, let's start by taking a look at her arts cards. You're going to want to draw critical stars to those arts cards so Kiara has a higher chance to crit and a higher chance to gain more Noble Phantasm off of using those cards. So look for something like, say for example, the freebie Code Focus, which increases star absorption by 25% or maybe even the far more potent Armament of Triumph if you have one of those hanging around. Critical Star Absorption command codes are going to be the best picks for Kiara's Arts cards. For Kiara's Quick Card, I really think it's worth it tying it to some sort of utility for her in order to make it so she can dispel any, say, attack down buffs or anything that might be affecting her overall damage. So chuck White Vessel's command seal on that and use that whenever Kiara needs some sort of debuff cleanse. And finally, for Kiara's Buster cards, I've got two damage-focused command codes I like to recommend, though they affect her damage in entirely different ways. Let's start, of course, with the command code featuring Kiara, None of a Merciful Gaze and Warm Expression. This increases the damage against lawful alignment enemies by 20% of the engraved card, and also increases the damage against ruler-type enemies by 20% on the engraved card. Since Kiara already has that effectiveness boost against rulers, this command code ends up being very effective on her specifically. Specifically. And finally, since Kiara is a Noble Phantasm damage related servant, I've of course got to recommend Da Vinci Chan. This grants NP damage up by 15% for one turn when attacking using the engraved card. Note that this effect activates before the damage is dealt, so you would need to use that card before you use Kiara's Noble Phantasm. This is worth putting on not only because the damage trade-off ends up being worth it, but you're not always going to be able to draw that perfect arts chain to use Kiara's Noble Phantasm when you really need to use it. So being able to sacrifice that for increased damage at times when you can afford to is going to make your time playing Kiara a lot easier. Overall, gang, Kiara has gone through a very fascinating metamorphosis over the lifespan of Fate Grand Order. When she had initially came out, especially in comparison to servants like Melt and Passion Lip and the freebie Mecha Ellie Chan to boot, I would have straight up called her one of, if not the worst, alter ego in the entire game. But as the rank ups came out, as the buffs came out, especially now in JP that she got the boost to her Noble Phantasm, I would honestly call her at bare minimum, it's debatable. At bare minimum, I would call her the second most powerful AoE alter ego in the entire game, second only to Ashia Doman. And when it comes to that ruler class bonus gang, there's a very, very good argument that she is the best AoE alter ego in the entire game. Regardless of your personal feelings on Kiara, I know some players in the fan base are lukewarm with, you know, how she acts, how she presents herself, whatever. When it comes down to the straight up mechanics, the way this character works, Seshuin Kiara is a very, very good character. And if you were looking for an alter ego and you are strongly considering Kiara as your squad's main alter ego, 
it would be a very good idea to just straight up pick her and go for her. She is definitely worth a spot on your team. But I want to know what you all think, so go ahead and let me know your thoughts about Sesho and Kiara down in the comment section below. Let me know if there's anything you think I missed, command codes, craft essences, whatever. It is through this discussion that we are all able to become better at the game. Speaking of the game, if you want to talk more about it, you can go ahead and hit me up on the Discord server down in the link below. We've got some channels down there to talk about a bunch of video games. If you think I'm doing a good job, you can hit me up on Patreon. Big thanks to all of the patrons, as always. And if you're looking to check me out on Twitch, I do have a Twitch. It exists, and we are playing a ton of games on there on the road to affiliate. So I really hope you'll go ahead and join me on there. This is Kawaii50, hoping you have a phenomenal day. I'll see you all in the next video.